Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another video. Are you tired of being absolutely decimated by the boss in the Spire mission? And luckily for you, today I'm going to break down exactly how I was able to defeat him and what weaknesses he has so that you can easily defeat him as well. And if you end up finding this video helpful or end up using it during your playthrough, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It really shows your appreciation for what I do. It only takes a second of your time and it really keeps me motivated to keep making videos just like this one. And I am also playing on Legendary All Skulls On without using the Scorpion gun or any Spartan core upgrades, so these tips will pretty much apply to you regardless of what difficulty you're playing on. And Alright guys, let's jump straight into the video. So as soon as that cutscene ends, the boss is going to spawn directly in front of you. What you're going to want to do is either go to the left or the right of the stairs. Now personally, I like to go to the left first and then grapple over to the right as you're going to see in a second here. Now as soon as you make it over here to this right side, what you're going to want to do is pick up the sentinel beam and then target the legs of the boss. Now you will only be able to deal damage to them when they are bright orange like they are right now and you'll see kind of a blue electric effect as you're targeting them. And as you can see right there, just pop off one of the legs and then grapple over to a safe distance because as soon as you damage one of his legs, then he's going to instantly hunker down like he is right there. And then as soon as he gets back up, what he's going to do is try and use that main disintegration ray that's like an overpowered sentinel beam that as soon as it touches you for more than maybe a quarter of a second, it'll just instantly kill you. Now as soon as he uses it, you'll actually be able to damage him again, as I am right here. And what you're going to want to do is just very quickly target his other leg, and so you can knock him right back down again, and so you don't have to worry at all about him damaging you. Now you also want to keep your distance from him, like I am right here, and basically stay on the other side of the wall, but you also want to throw some grenades over to him or shoot some rockets or something at him so that he will actually try and target you from across the room. If you don't do that, he'll end up not targeting you at all and just come over all the way across the room and then try and kill you, and it's just a lot more annoying to engage this guy from close range. So as you can see right there, just knock off the other leg, and what you want to do is, while he's down, try and recharge your sentinel beam, wait for him to shoot that disintegration ray at you again, and then as soon as he does that, you'll be able to target his other leg. You also want to do your best to stay out of the open like I am right here, and try and always keep something between you and him at all times, because if you're out in the open for more than maybe half a second, quarter of a second, he'll instantly target you with that disintegration ray and just toast you. Now as you can see right there, just knock off the last leg, knock him down, and then now all you've got to do is aim for his center eye. Now the key with the center eye is just like before, until he's actually shot that disintegration ray at you, you won't be able to deal any damage to him. And that is honestly the most annoying part about this boss, is the fact you have to wait for him to shoot at you with either his main weapon or his arms, and then you'll actually be able to damage him. At any time in between, you can shoot him all you want, and it won't do anything. And also the easiest way to tell if you're able to damage him is you'll notice his eye kind of glows a brighter orange, which kind of shows like it's more exposed and that's when you know you can actually deal some damage. And then also it's very helpful that they've actually added in the feature where as you damage him, he'll do those blue electric sparks, just like he's doing right here, so you can actually tell if you're shooting him or not. Now also I found once you knock off all four of his legs, the best spot in the room to go is to the left or the right of where the cutscene initially drops you off of. And just like you're seeing me do here, as long as you keep something in between you and him at all times, you can just easily take him out just like that. Now I do have to say, the most important thing to keep in mind when you're facing this boss is there's only certain points in time that you can damage him. And as long as you keep that in mind and you keep something between you and him, you should be able to easily defeat him. And thanks for watching guys. Drop a comment down below for any questions you've got, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.